In an ever-evolving technological landscape, underscored by political will and consumer demand, electric vehicles, EVs, are rapidly gaining traction and becoming more affordable worldwide. This shift has been pioneered by Tesla, leading to a flurry of other traditional automakers such as Ford, Volkswagen and Hyundai investing billions of dollars in an attempt to dominate the EV market. However, one of the largest automakers globally, Toyota, appears hesitant to adopt this transition. Known for their hybrid vehicle models such as the Prius, Toyota has been notably slower in shifting to electric vehicles. Instead, they seem more inclined to focus on other forms of propulsion, such as hydrogen, internal combustion engines, ICE, and hybrids. This leaves many wondering about Toyota's strategy and whether the world's largest car manufacturer is making a calculated decision or a grave mistake. This discussion will delve into Toyota's position regarding electric vehicles. The significance of Toyota's stance cannot be understated. Being the world's largest manufacturer, Toyota holds an 11.5% share of all vehicles sold globally. In 2022, the company sold 10 million vehicles worldwide, dwarfing the sales of Volkswagen and Hyundai, the second and third largest manufacturers who sold 8.2 million and 6.8 million vehicles respectively. While Volkswagen sold 330,000 EVs and Hyundai managed 221,000, Toyota only sold 20,000 EVs. This highlights the reluctance of the largest car maker in the world to fully embrace electric vehicles. To illustrate this point further, Toyota has only released one pure EV model to date, the Toyota BZ4X. However, its debut did not go as expected. In June 2022, Toyota issued a global recall for the BZ4X electric crossover SUV due to hub bolts on the wheels potentially coming loose after a sharp turn or hard braking. This development resulted in the immediate withdrawal of the BZ4X from sale and a global recall of already circulated units. Toyota's chief engineer, Daisuke Edo, explained that the battery's additional weight, coupled with heat buildup, caused the wheel nuts to snap. While this occurrence was quite rare, the potential for losing wheels during motion deemed it serious. Despite promptly resolving the issue and resuming sales, the incident was a PR disaster and a significant setback for Toyota, a company built on a reputation for delivering high quality, dependable and low maintenance cars. The company's former CEO, Akio Toyota, was a vocal critic of EVs. He famously called them overhyped and environmentally unfriendly. During a press conference with dealers in Las Vegas, he said battery electric vehicles would take longer to be widely adopted than most people believed. He outlined Toyota's strategy as being focused on satisfying the broadest range of customers with the widest range of powertrains, including hybrids, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, and traditional ICE-based gasoline-powered models. Toyota believes that not all regions will adopt EVs at the same pace due to the high cost of these vehicles and a lack of necessary infrastructure. The company intends to provide a choice to all customers rather than focusing on a specific direction. Toyota plans to wait until the market trends become clearer before committing. While Toyota's concerns are valid, particularly in regions like Africa, Southern Asia and South America where EVs are costly and charging infrastructure is severely underdeveloped, their sales figures paint a different picture. Toyota's top five markets, the US, China, Japan, Canada and Australia account for almost 6.5 million global sales. These countries have high EV adoption rates and government incentives that promote the transition to EVs. When compared to less developed markets like Indonesia, Brazil, Thailand, India and the Gulf states, which only contribute to 1 million sales, it is clear that Toyota's largest markets are primed for EV adoption. The recent stepping down of Akio Toyota as CEO sparked hope among analysts and investors that this would usher in a change in Toyota's attitude towards EVs, enabling them to catch up with rivals like Tesla, Volkswagen and Hyundai. However, as became increasingly clear, Toyota does not plan its strategies based on short-term market opinions. The company, known for its long-term planning spanning decades, saw Akio Toyota move from CEO to chairman, where he continues to oversee the strategy. His handpicked successor as CEO shares his views, confirming that Toyota is not in a rush to join the race toward full electrification. 
As every car manufacturer rushes to secure a supply of rare minerals like lithium, cobalt and manganese essential for EV production, Toyota remains steadfast in its strategy. As legacy automakers struggle with the financial implications of EV production, Toyota continues to profit. The company's stance underscores the fact that human opinions are divided on the adoption of EVs. While some consumers love the idea of owning an EV, others won't consider it until every gas-powered car has been phased out. Toyota acknowledges this divide and continues to cater to the segment of the population that does not believe EVs are the ultimate solution. According to a report by Bloomberg, EVs are projected to account for 50% of global passenger car sales by 2035 and 70% by 2040. However, this does not mean that ICE vehicles will vanish overnight. Given the typical 20-year life cycle of a car, gas-powered cars sold in 2040 will likely be on the roads until 2060. Countries and regions like the European Union, Canada, Australia and South Korea have announced plans to phase out the sales of new ICE vehicles by specific dates to accelerate the transition to EVs. Nevertheless, not all countries have committed to such ambitious targets. The US, for instance, does not have a federal mandate to phase out ICE vehicles, though certain states like California have announced their plans. China, the world's largest car market, has not specified a date to phase out ICE vehicles, but claims for EVs to account for 40% of new car sales by 2030. Toyota's stance can be likened to the rebel in the playground, playing a different game than other manufacturers. However, whether they're playing the right game or missing out on a massive opportunity to lead the transition to an all-electric future remains a topic of hot debate. While battery electric is leading the way for now, it is not the only sustainable propulsion method. There is still uncertainty over which will be the standard global solution half a century from now. Toyota's principle is to keep the field open and let the market decide the best course. Despite some hiccups along the way, a substantial segment of the population also believes that hydrogen could be a better solution. With a loyal customer base and consistently high customer satisfaction ratings, Toyota's lack of a competitive EV for the Western world seems not to be a significant concern for many. They have millions of customers across Asia, Africa and South America who seem to agree. Toyota's new CEO, Koji Sato, said, We are making full-fledged efforts on everything. It's important to remain flexible to tailor products and energies to different carbon-neutral needs in different markets. The jury is still out on whether Toyota is making a smart move by sticking to its diversified strategy or making a colossal mistake by ignoring the potential of EVs. Regardless, the company's journey in the evolving landscape of the automotive industry will be a fascinating one to follow.